So we've got another Wi-Fi Bluetooth mini projector. This time the D100 by PixThink. So this is a 1920 by 1080p native resolution. Uh, as far as brightness goes, up to 6500 lumens, 16 by 9 and 4 by 3 aspect ratio. It's got a manual focus plus or minus 50 degrees for the vertical and horizontal keystone adjustment. It's got two three watt speakers and you can use this up to a 300 inch screen. It can also support 4K video and has a brightness of 300 and Z lumens. This one's a little bit different. You also have a TV stick signal. You also have a HDMI and USB down here at the bottom to use with a streaming stick of your choice. So it's gonna work with the Fire TV stick, Roku, Chromecast, that sort of thing. It even has a sliding door, sort of a hidden design where you can store the TV stick. So you've got a pretty small remote control, cleaning cloth, pretty typical power cable, and of course a quick start guide. Okay, so as you can see, this is a really small, nice and compact projector. Right there on the top is your power button and manual focus. A remote control sensor right there on the front next to the lens and what looks to be a vent down below. You've got one speaker on each side and then there on the back is your USB port, HDMI, remote control sensor and 3.5 millimeter audio jack. And then you plug the power down at the bottom. You'll also notice some threads there at the bottom if you want to put this on a tripod. As you can see the bottom sort of slides off where you can plug in your USB stick with the HDMI and USB port. So that's everything included in the box. Let's go ahead and get this connected so you can see what the menu software looks like. And then I'll give you my first impressions after testing this out for a while. So once you get the projector set up, it's pretty easy to adjust the focus right there on the top. You can also flip the screen depending on where it's located with the remote control as well. You've got a few shortcuts there on the home screen and then lots of things you can adjust in settings like projection mode, zoom in, zoom out, vertical, horizontal correction, along with corner correction and keystone correction reset. Pretty easy to get everything dialed in just the way you like and you can also adjust the aspect ratio as well. You've also got the option to change the wallpaper on the home screen. You've got several to choose from. You've also got network settings, Bluetooth settings. You can also switch themes. There's also other settings like boot signal input, power on mode, key tone, screen saver, shut off timer, language, and restore to factory settings. You've also got shortcuts there on the side using the remote control, such as image mode, color temperature, sound mode, surround sound, timed shutdown, and keystone correction. Nice thing is you can connect phones, tablets through either Wi-Fi or you can use an adapter to show presentations where the text on here actually looks better than I expected. Of course, the best part to me is playing games or watching movies on here where the screen is just nice and large. Uh, you can also connect any streaming stick through either HDMI port and you can watch YouTube videos on here which actually looks better than I expected. You can also hook up gaming consoles. Just keep in mind this isn't going to be as sharp or have as good a contrast or picture quality as a 4K TV but if you turn all the lights off I feel like the picture quality on here is going to be plenty good enough for most people that want to watch or play stuff on a 300 inch screen. If you're looking for a small affordable projector you may want to check Check this one out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.